So in my very last video, which I've literally just finished recording, I talked to you all about the sort of notion of group cohesion. We looked at Steiner's model, and I've just copied across to uh, to hear the idea of Karen's model. Karen suggested there were four factors that, which affected cohesion, the situation, and the different individuals and the member characteristics, the, the leadership style that the leader adopted, and the team, you know, what their experiences were affects group cohesion. And I think we can all relate to that, right? But really the, fo the focus of this particular recording is to say, right, that all said, what can we do to promote the strategies to actually promote group cohesion? What are the ways that a coach and a group of players, players can go? You know, especially if things are going badly, you know, you're losing and people are falling out and it all seems doom and gloom. What can we actually do to bring about an improvement into that in that situation? So I'm going to try and focus on those strategies. And I've got kind of seven or eight of these that I think you should be aware of. The first one, I think it's ever so base really is just make sure people know what to do. Um, coaches out there, you know, you, some of you will be better coaches out there than I've ever been, but, you know, make sure that people know what their roles are, you know. It, that kind of immediately limits the Ringelman effect, right, those coordination losses, right, I want you to do this, this is how we're going to play, this is your job within that system. So that actually makes people very aware and conscious of what they're expected to produce. It's not just enough to say try hard and run around, but you have to make sure people actually understand what's being asked of them. Within that, you can kind of um, help people to kind of bond, right? I mean, if you want your groups to kind of know each other, to like each other, to respect each other, to work well together, we can go through certain team building experiences. I think that makes uh, a lot of sense, right? To, almost get away from the, the the situation of playing in your sports team. Say, right, we're going to do something different. Let, let's build some sort of shared identity and collective unity, as we talked about it in that very last video. We said previously that people might coast if they feel like they're not being valued, they're not uh, being noticed, for example. 